If David Cam killed his family, you're looking at the strongest evidence prosecutors have against him. Eight tiny blood drops discovered on his T-shirt, which prosecutors say got there when Cam pulled the trigger. Well, what I'm going to do is to demonstrate. The investigators uh, hope this man, Rod Englert, can connect the dots. Uh, put some stage blood uh, onto the piece of paper and with a blank. We're going to shoot into it and create the same type of pattern. Englert is a blood stain expert hired by the prosecution. Tiny, tiny little aerosol specks that are invisible. You cannot see them with the naked eye. But they're there. Th they're there. Can this be caused by anything else? I mean, if, if I were to take my fist and bang into the blood, could I create that? You cannot create that pattern. This is very, very uh, indicative of high-velocity mist. Englert examined David's T-shirt and identified the stains as what's called high-velocity impact spatter, caused by a bullet hitting a body. Are there any other way for these stains to show up on a person's T-shirt? This is so unique and so separate from other stains that one can say with confidence that this is from high-velocity mist, that the person uh, that got this on him would be in close proximity, within four feet of the shots when they were fired. But that's just one theory. The defense says those drops of blood actually back up Cam's version of what he did when he discovered the bodies. I grabbed Brad, picked him up. Why did you grab him? I, I was going to try to do CPR on him. Did he look like he was alive? I didn't know. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know. I had to do something. That's the first thing that came to my mind. We initially tried to prove him wrong, tried to see if there were some discrepancies there. Bart Epstein has been a bloodstain expert for more than 30 years. He was hired by the defense and believes those eight droplets on David's T-shirt got there when Cam reached over Jill to remove his son's body from the SUV. The contact stains and transfer stains that were found on his T-shirt are all consistent with what he said he did. Epstein says those tiny drops of blood were made when Cam's T-shirt brushed against the tips of Jill's bloody hair. And I'm going to put some of this uh, blood on the strands of the wig. To show us how that blood could have gotten on David's T-shirt, Epstein did a demonstration. And if we contact... Little there, tiny stains. Little tiny stains. Epstein believes the stains on David's T-shirt can look like high-velocity impact spatter to some people. But in this case, the number of blood stains could be as important as their size. Gunshot will produce hundreds of stains coming back. I've never seen, nor in testimony, I believe, the other experts for both prosecution and defense. They've never seen just seven small or eight small stains from a gunshot. I've never seen that. David Cam's lawyers believe if he had pulled the trigger at point-blank range, his clothes would have been covered in blood.